What up, Roundup Gang? We have here a redubbed version, or I'm redubbing it as we speak, of the three part series where we customize a Medicom Woody Gen 2. So, as usual, we start with the main Woody. We have to take him apart. I wasn't very gentle with this one. As I'm sure you know at this point, I customized my perfect Woody with a Gen 1 body. This one here is a Gen 2. This is the Woody that I made to have a swappable head mechanic, which is very unique. So even though I have my prized possession Gen 1 Medicom Woody with the Seed Toys head, this is the one and the only one that has this type of swappable head mechanic. And as you'll see later in the video, I do make that swappable head option, or I, I kind of customize a Thinkway head to make it swappable. Now, here is the mechanic. Uh, and first of all, we have to take this head apart so that we can get to uh, this little piece that I really want that you can see it in there. There it is. That's the magic. Now, it's not going to fit perfectly. I actually got to cut these little sides off. And as usual, I've talked about this many times, I glue the bandana onto the neck so it's always in the perfect fixed part of the head where I want it to be. Some people like it fixed onto the body. That's totally fine. You know, you can kind of uh, do what you prefer, but me, I like this method a lot better. And here is the mechanic. Goes in with the ball joint and it is very much a um, anchor type system. And in case anyone was wondering, here is Medicom Woody, just the skeleton, all put together. Looks like a T-800 from Terminator. A little bit of nightmare fuel, but I kind of wish I would have had a, maybe done a little bit more with this <laughs> before I took it apart and dismantled uh, and put it back in. If that makes sense. You'll see here in a bit. So here's the head mechanic. Stick it right in. Pops, very satisfying. And now for my favorite part, everyone who's seen my customizations know how much I love to sew. And here is more sewing. Now, I normally don't like to fully take out the stitches here and the elbows and the legs, but because this is a Gen 2, it doesn't actually sew the same way. So as you see, I just pulled out a black foam sleeve. These foam sleeves are exclusively to Gen 2. It's a cost saving measure that they implemented. Instead of putting actual stuffing into the limbs, it's just these sleeves, which gives it a more flat look on Medicom Woody. But anyway, you have to actually completely unstitch the, the joints because the stitching does go through the foam so you won't be able to pull out that foam until you unstitch it completely. Normally on a Gen 1 I just leave it in there because it tells me and shows me the path and I need to sew all the way through and it makes it a lot easier. So more work for me. Woohoo. And as you can see here, we are putting back the metal rods. This allows his hands to technically stay swappable. Not that I'll be swapping them too much, but I like to have the option. And the metal inside of him gives him a really good premium weight. Look at that, when you sew all the way through, you got that nice separation between the top and bottom of the arm, just like the movie. I hope you all enjoy my popsicle shirt, by the way. <laughs> so 
So when putting the stuffing back into Medicom, you kind of have to go through a few angles. Obviously the upper arm is easy to go through the collar and the bottom, uh, the lower part of the arm is easier to go through at the wrist. So up to you, you know, if anyone's ragdolling a Medicom Woody, this is pretty much kind of the, I guess you could call this the official, but non-official official guy to do it since I've done it so many times. Now when you put the stuffing in, you do have to be mindful of how you put it in. You could just put it all in there and then try to get that metal rod in there, but because the stuffing is pretty tightly bound together, you might just end up pushing the stuffing down if you just try to stick the rod in after you put stuffing. So you kind of have to put some of the stuffing in, get the rod in there, and then distribute the stuffing around the rod. So, and then you might still have to roll it and kind of get it positioned where you need to, but it takes a little extra time, but trust me when I say it is worth it when you see how this looks and when you see what my other customs look like. There it is, a little demonstration of that amazing separation. And he's floppy. And here we are moving on to the legs, same as the arms, just, well, in the legs. <laughs> By the way, for anyone watching at this point, um, one thing I'm going to throw in here um, that I have not talked about, so I guess anyone who's a true fan and actually watches the videos all the way through will hear this. For anyone who doesn't or skips around, well, they'll miss it and that's okay. So I'm thinking about after the 10K giveaway, which is a stock Medicom Woody, I'm thinking about a 20K giveaway. And I know that's far in the future, but it's nice to plan. And I wanted you guys to know that I will plan another Medicom Woody giveaway, except this is going to be a rag dawed Medicom Woody. Yes. Everyone asks me, if these Medicom Woodies are for sale, well, when we hit 20,000 subscribers, the giveaway will be a brand new Medicom Woody that I will turn into a ragdoll and give away. So that is going to be huge. Certainly one of a kind because I'm going to do it the way that I do it, which like here, got that nice separation sewn through the knee joint. Very unique way and ideal way, to be honest, of ragdolling a Medicom Woody. Now later in the video I do mention this, when stuffing this leg here, I actually didn't put as much stuffing as I wish I did, so it, it left this part of the leg a little bit more flat. However, I have since corrected this and it is now firm. I pulled the, the foot out and put a lot more stuffing in there, so it's, it's basically perfect. But this is an amazing, I love this. Ragdoll Woody. It is certainly my best Gen 2 Medicom Woody by far. I love the swappable head mechanic, which you'll see in action later on. But 
it's technically with the Seed Toys Gen 1 Metacom I've done since this video. I will say that that one could have a swappable head. So in a sense, you know, it's already, what's the word I'm looking for? Obsolete. What I really think is nice about these videos, if anyone truly did want to do exactly how I manage these Metacom Woody Ragdoll conversions, I essentially am putting the entire process, but sped up. I mean, you could really follow it. This mechanic, since it essentially acts as an anchor, you just put that long piece into the torso and you put the stuffing around it, it's going to lock it in place. So what I had to do is really make sure that I was happy with how much that little metal ball joint stuck out of the neck, because if it stuck out too much, his neck's gonna look too tall, and if it sticks out too little, his neck is gonna look too short. So we found a perfect position, and you can see me here putting the stuffing back in to essentially start locking in that position. In case anyone's wondering, this is in fact a soft and huggable head. One thing that's really cool about keeping the metal rod inside the boot when putting his leg in is it does keep all the articulation in the boot. So it'll pivot forward, backwards, side to side. All of that stays intact when you do it this way. I know that there's people out there that when they ragdoll their Metacom Woody, they take all the armature out and they glue the boots in or glue the hands in. You could do that but this just keeps a lot of the functionality still there. My goal is always to keep Metacom Woody as much of a Metacom Woody as possible, but just take out the joints and then sew through them. And that's really what I do here. Swappable hands, all of that is still included. So here he is finished. As you can see, there are some things that I need to glue down. Um, biggest issue with Metacom Woody's is that that little twine, the black and white twine on the edges of the vest does come off extremely easy, but a little super glue goes a long way. It's a pretty easy fix. Yeah, and there it is. I have since glued down the hat, by the way. After all that, here he is. Let's get him. Uh, let's get him in the frame here. There he is, newest custom Woody uh, Metacom. This actually might be my favorite, even though it is not a Gen One body. Um, we made this as puffy as we possibly could with a little tiny thread. You can kind of see it right here. Um, his legs look nice and skinny, really good. 
And this is actually the floppiest head that I've made. And boy, oops, there goes that. Is it a good mechanic? Technically, you could even easily head swap them. Here's a little ball that he rests on. Here's a super glue there. Now, if I were to put this little joint piece in, say, another Thinkway Toys Woody head, like the one that he typically comes with, with the mouth kind of open, you know, you could just, bam, swap it out. And just clicks right in. The hat is lined with this, as usual. I've shown that a few times at this point. There he goes. Now this one, I might, oh, there he goes again. I might paint the hair. I'm not as entirely sure. Again, I don't really know how comfortable I am giving that a shot, especially since this came out so good, you know, I don't want to accidentally give it a bad paint job. But, uh, look at that. Now, I will say this. I wish I put a little bit more stuffing down here. It looks good. The shape looks really good. It's just not as tight, tightly packed. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not as tightly packed as, uh, say, his arms. Look at these. These things are freaking tight. I definitely glued back on the fine details. But, uh, yeah, this might be my favorite Woody doll now. Look at that. I guess you really don't need a Gen 1 body to make a good Metacom Woody version. Well, that statement didn't age well, because here's my Gen 1 Metacom Woody I made a few months later. He is better. So my wife here is actually painting Jesse's eyebrows. More on that later. I did Woody's mouth. You can tell. Little imperfections. Not the best at painting. That's why I don't want to touch the hair just yet. All right. Well, we're going to do the swappable head part now. So this is your classic Thinkway signature collection head with the open mouth. I really like it. It is expressive. And it's always a good alternative option to have for a head. So what I ended up doing is I ended up taking the elbow joint of a Metacom Woody and stuffing it into the opening underneath the neck. And from there, well, since it already fits the ball joint, it clicks right in. Give them a full rotation. Now here's what we gotta figure out we gotta cover. That in the back looked kinda nasty. So here's my solution. We're gonna take the gummy neck from Metacom Woody and we're gonna cover that nasty spot. And we're kinda just eyeballing it here, but uh, We'll see how it turns out. For anyone who's already seen the video, you already know. go not bad for just eyeballing it's as you can see here in a moment it's gonna slip right on and have the perfect amount opened and yes the bandana is glued to the neck this is actually the signature collection bandana looks good I'm using the signature collection head I might as well use the signature collection bandana and look at how seamless that is look at that looks all one piece by the way, anyone still watching, if you are, comment below the phrase 23 skidoo. Why? I don't know. It just seems fun and funny. And anyone who comments that, I'll know that actually you stuck around this long in the video. <laughs> and hit the like button, obviously. That'd be great.
Time for a little demonstration. Here he is with the soft and huggable main head, ragdoll head, toy mode head. Pops right off. And this plugs right in. And when you rotate the neck, it is very, very, very seamless. Looks great. Anyone at home watching can easily do this. And if anyone does, let me know. I'd love to see how it turned out. And as you saw there, it still retains its wobbly head and we just pop it off and pop on the soft and huggable like that. So everyone, if you watched this video and you liked it and you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. Hit the like button, that helps me a lot. A lot of amazing things coming. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see that. Stay tuned, very exciting news to come. And as always, a collector never stops collecting. We'll see you on the next video.